Hi everybody. The extremely comfortable seats offer a driving position that is close to the ground and convenient for easy entry and exit. However, Porsche continues to innovate in spite of this perfection. It is without a doubt the most extreme road going 911 Porsche ever made thanks to its extensive aerodynamic modifications and fully caffeinated naturally aspirated engine. The 911 Carrera T, which Porsche starts with a base Carrera and adds a targeted mix of feature upgrades and weight saving tricks to make it the driver's choice of the 911 lineup, is on the lower end of the scale. The PDK 8-speed dual-clutch automatic transmission was tested on the 911 Carrera S. With the launch control mode activated, we observed a 3.2-second sprint from 0 to 60 miles per hour. The brakes also perform admirably. carbon ceramic brakes that were available on our test vehicle stopped it from 60 miles per hour in just 97 feet. For both casual and high performance driving, the pedal effort and brake feel are excellent. The 911 is so quick and precise around turns that it feels like it's talking directly to the driver. Indeed, even with this ability, the 911 is a simple vehicle to drive in regular circumstances on account of its genuinely amazing PDK program transmission. For instance, even after driving for a number of hours, the optional ventilated adaptive sport seats are comfortable. Sport suspension was an option on our test vehicle. At cold start, the engine sounds rough and surprising unfinished, and once the revs get high, it really starts to sound like a 911 flat 6. Inside, the driving position is generally brilliant. The 911's interior is as snug as you'd expect from a sports car, but taller passengers still have plenty of room in the front. The visibility outward is excellent. Although you could argue that having them is preferable to not having any rear seats at all, as usual, the rear seats are laughably small and are better suited for carrying cargo than passengers. The rear seats can be used for extra storage, but getting things in and out requires a tight squeeze and an awkward stoop. The only positive thing we can say is that the car seat anchors are simple to locate. The Panamera, Cayenne, and Macon are clearly better choices if you really need a car for family duties. Efficiency The EPA appraises the programmed prepared Carrera S at 20 mpg consolidated, which is really great for the class. It takes discipline to achieve those results, just like with any sports car. Although the Carrera and Carrera S's base prices are comparable to those of sports cars, you won't get nearly as many standard features as you would with the competition. Naturally, Porsche's build quality is excellent, and the customization options are virtually limitless. The 911 Carrera S is a wild card when it comes to pure driving pleasure. Driving it is a lot of fun, and even more importantly, 
it is simple to drive enthusiastically. The 911's precise steering and predictable handling encourage the driver to push a little harder, but even if you go beyond those limits, you can still control it. The 911's friendly demeanor in everyday situations is just as impressive as its overall performance. Due to its prevalence, the 911 doesn't draw as many attentions as other sports cars, making it possible that it is a victim of its own success. Hi everybody! Thank you for watching. Leave a comment below and let us know what you thought of the video. We'll see you in the next one.